Governance to me is a collection of actors, relations and regulations that shape the built environment. It's a very chaotic and complex set of activities that uh, don't take place at the same time and in agreement uh, with each other. So as you can see, the city is shaped through pieces and bits of these actions. And urban planning to me is one of those actions, but not uh, covering all of them. Spatial governance, however, is the totality of these efforts, if you ask me. Uh, governance for me is a way uh, to study institutions of government as a web of relations that is a bit more fuzzy than only one hierarchy. Um, so it is kind of related to looking at who uh, has the power to make decisions, who uh, is involved in the systems of decision making, who has the power to set the agendas within the systems, and who decides uh, what goes forward and what doesn't go forward. But also looking at the ones who are excluded from these systems of power, and as a way, who gets to decide our day-to-day -day lives and our cities. We are standing at the Urban Sports Zone on Seeburg Eiland. Uh, where the biggest skating rink of the Netherlands was uh, opened uh, a bit over a year ago, in June 2020. Uh, and I like this space to demonstrate what I understand and how I look at governance. Because my take on governance, and spatial governance, is how space, a certain environment, built, constructed, conceived, how space regulates, governs, the social dynamics taking place in that space. Uh, I'm an urban sociologist, but I'm also a lawyer. Uh, so I look not just at the sociality taking place in a certain space, but I'm also interested in how law and regulations then interact in those dynamics. For me, governance is about how processes shape cities with key influences by relationships, resources, and regulations.